there are a number of advanced diagnostic and therapeutic um, modalities here at the University of Florida and Chance Hospital. Um, starting with the diagnosis, um, we have endobronchial ultrasound uh, that allows us to sample lymph nodes in the mediastinum and the hilum. This uh, dramatically increases accuracy of lung cancer staging. Uh, we have navigation bronchoscopy and peripheral radial uh, endobronchial ultrasound. That allows us to be able to go out to the edge of the lung and sample very small nodules or masses that may be very difficult to biopsy with standard bronchoscopic techniques. Um, once we have made the diagnosis, uh, coming to the treatment part, uh, our thoracic surgeons uh, offer um, state-of-the-art, minimally invasive surgical procedures. Patients have less discomfort, less time in the hospital, back to their usual quality of life much quicker. Uh, for patients that are not candidates for surgery, uh, our radiation oncologists have, in essence, the, the most state-of-the-art technology available for radiation therapy, uh, particularly with the use of stereotactic body radiation. Uh, which allows for very highly focused radiation to a small area of the lung. That increases the tumor response as well as minimizes damage to the surrounding lung, which is often an issue for patients that aren't candidates for surgical resection. Uh, and then lastly, the patients that are not candidates for curative intent therapy, we are able to offer things that Im uh, improve quality of life, improve symptoms. Uh, I can do things such as laser bronchoscopy to remove tumors from the airway, uh, placement of stents to open up the airway from airways that are compressed by tumors. Uh, for patients that have fluid collections around the lung, uh, what we call malignant pleural effusions, we can do a procedure called pleurodesis to remove the fluid and glue the lung to the surface of the lung, surface of the chest so that the fluid can't come back or we can place a long-term catheter into that space to allow the patient to drain the, flu drain the fluid at home. I think the advantages for getting uh, lung cancer care at an academic medical center are really multiple. Uh, one is obviously our, our level of expertise. Uh, we're used to dealing with very challenging cases uh, cases that may not be straightforward, uh, cases that really require involvement of multiple healthcare professionals. Uh, and within our institution, we have that ability to, to be seen by a pulmonologist with an interest in lung cancer, a medical oncologist uh, interested in thoracic oncology, uh, a thoracic surgeon who has great skill and expertise in the newest minimally invasive uh, surgical procedures, uh, as well as our radiation oncologists who have state-of-the-art facilities and doing things such as stereotactic body radiation. And so we're able to really bring that all together uh, in one package for the patient. Uh, and most of those combination of, of things are really not present in most community centers. When uh, lung cancer patients come here to Shands, uh, I I think they should really expect uh, a few things. One is, is fantastic care. Uh, the second is a team approach. So being evaluated uh, by multiple different specialties uh, and then expect us to sit down and come up with a treatment plan that's uh, somewhat customized, personalized, uh, if you will, but uh, represents really state-of-the-art treatment and know that they're going to get uh, state-of-the-art care. There are many benefits to having a nurse navigator, uh, and I can speak from times before we had uh, a nurse navigator and, and now, and it's been a tremendous uh, benefit uh, to the program, to patients, and to the physicians. Uh, our navigator is able to be a first contact for the referring physician and for the patient. She's able to uh, facilitate them accessing our system in a very timely fashion to make sure that we have all records, all pathology slides, any additional testing set up ahead of time. So when the patient comes here, they really do get a full evaluation from the very beginning. 
Uh, she helps us to coordinate the results of testing with the patient. And also, once we have a treatment plan outlined, really helps the patient to navigate through our system in that treatment, which can obviously be very daunting and very scary for patients. And so she makes that less scary for them. I think that in terms of what patients and families uh, feel that they get here from, from the treating teams are, uh, I think, really three things. One is, is a great fund of knowledge that we bring to the table collectively. The second is, is confidence. Confidence in our ability, uh, confidence in our uh, treatment uh, options for patients and doing the right thing for the patient. Uh, and the last thing I think is caring. Uh, for all of us in the thoracic oncology program, we care deeply for our patients and we want the very best for them.